Welcome back. This is Arcade Knight. And General Rufus is at the gates. And all who oppose the Emperor of the East beware. Because we are on the doorsteps of conquering the world. So, good people of the Empire, Senators of Nova Roma, and my dear Praetorian Guard, sit back on your comfy thrones. Grab a golden chalice mug of your favorite tasty beverage as we conquer. Finally, the walls of Rome! Can you believe it? We're finally ready to siege Rome. And if you look at how far Ember Rufus' empire has stretched, Rome will make a nice addition and, of course, will be the jewel of the empire. Now, you know, I'm not quite sure we're ready to make it the capital just yet. It's quite weak once we conquer it. It's right on the borders, very easy to conquer. Um, so we're going to have to give it a little time. We're going to have to stretch out our empire a little bit further before we claim Rome as our capital. But we'll surely claim it for Emperor Rufus. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've still got things to worry about. The South Empire, or the, the Southern Roman Empire, as I should say, um, they still have a force to be reckoned with. And uh, it is their Praetorian Guard force. Now, I will tell you, there's 3,000 of them. But uh, my second army is doing a wonderful job of distracting them. In fact, he is following one of my lords, and uh, I believe they're traveling to uh, Croton Castle, Croton Fortress, I should say, which is right here. So it's perfect. Hopefully, they'll all make it there in time, which I believe they will. This is a fairly slow army. Speed 2.6. Yeah, these are all moving around 4. So it will not catch them. And uh, it'll be completely distracted while we're taking care of the business. The main business, which is conquering Rome. Now, I've done the numbers. There's about 600 men in the garrison. I can muster somewhere around hmm, 700, 750 um, a lot of my lords are, are, are quite injured. Their, their armies are wounded. There are some men who are bringing in, like Ari Vara, who's come back to me. I gotta say, the hero of this war so far has been Lord Ari Vara. Uh, go back a couple of episodes and you'll see exactly why. Uh, but, you know, look, he's only got three men. Himself and, what, a Roman engineer? Yeah, himself, a Roman engineer. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, I just respect the lords of Nova Roma so much that, that they'll bring in they'll die for the emperor to the very last man but enough talking it's time to siege Rome okay so let's besiege the town and it's only ladders so what it's going to take zero hours that is perfect I want everyone to mark this day down I want everyone to put it in the comment section below May 28th 70 AD is the day Emperor Rufus conquered Rome. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it! Oh, that was the quickest siege ladders built in the history of mankind up to this point. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's build every single onager. We can only bring in three. Let's try to bring in five, but it's probably only going to be three. All right, men, let's gather. Fire archers set up. Oof. They're already firing away. Infantry. In, in fact, infantry, I'm going to set you up in the front. I'm going to get you ready. Cavalry, hold back. Praetorian guard, hold on me. And uh, where are these onagers that I keep hearing? I have no idea. Definitely want to make sure that my engineers are not charging in. Oh, fire javelins. Fire me. Fo follow me as well. So I wonder, oh, there the onagers are. Perfect. All right, just make sure they're set up there. I know people keep telling me in the comment section, but um, I've seen engineers roam all over the battlefield, so I always want to ensure that they're standing where they should be. Okay, infantry, you need to charge in. Let's let's go ahead and charge in. Uh, I think I think that the main issue is we, we need to take out those onagers that they have. I think I saw 22 engineers in there. Fire javelins. I like you standing here. I like you standing there. I'm going to bring my Praetorian Guard back. I don't want to use them up just yet. Let's see. Fluent Gladiators. Uh, oh, did, did I lose my Subscriber Knights already? 
Oh, that is such a sad day. Please don't tell me I already lost them. Or were they too wounded to even come into the battle with me? Oh, you must admit, they're so honorable they'll do anything for the Emperor. You gotta appreciate that. Man, we are we are taking some some casualties here. Lots of wounds. 51 wounds. Oh my goodness. We have lost just as many men as they have. The only good news is that it only it takes no time to build ladders. So there's essentially no turnaround time. We don't have to wait on the Praetorian Guard um, to come up from the south. Ooh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to take the Seed Shield. That's probably a good idea. So we don't have to worry about being ambushed. Ooh. Roman Engineer. Okay. Reinforcements. Reinforcements desperately needed. Let's go ahead and bring it. Bring it, men! Bring it! Up on top of the walls! Do I have to lead thee? Do I have to lead my men? Let's see, what are we looking at? Just basically on the top of the walls, it's a complete cluster. <laughs> this mod uh, does not treat you well on the top of the walls, especially with all the, the projectiles in this game. Um, and they're so damn powerful. One hit and you're down. Very risky. L look, look at this poor bastard. Finally, our Roman engineer is doing something. Thank you. We're still plugging away. Let's see what it looks like now. We've killed 136 of them. Actually, frankly, we've taken more casualties. We may have to rest up um, for a half a day for all these wounds that we're taking. We'll go a little bit further. Once 100 dead... I may have to reconsider. We may have to back out. I think we may have to back out now. Yeah. I think that's the case. So, so what are we taking? Uh, I see the Roman engineers are just destroying us. 141. This may take several assaults, in fact. So we didn't lose much. Allied casualties were pretty heavy. 50, 58 killed. 141 wounded. That's amazing how many wounds were taken. Oh, Lord Erivar, my brother-in-law was wounded. Enemy casualties on that first assault. 151 killed. Very good. Very good. Okay. So we've taken out roughly 200 of them. Hmm. Well, let's see what a day does. Ah. A day could be very costly. break away okay so well this th this is interesting where did this Praetorian guard go ha I think my my second force has somehow escaped we need to find the location of the Praetorian guard it's not them okay it's sea traders really so this is interesting we have fresh troops to come in and help out. It's perfect. I couldn't have drawn it up more perfectly. But I would love to know. Oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here's, it seems, what happened. Yeah. Essentially, this stupid Praetorian guard followed my second army all the way to this fortress. <laughs> They totally fooled the, the, the huge army, came around this mountain, worked their way up, back to Rome, back to their emperor. Oh, may the gods bless them. May the gods indeed bless them. Okay, we've got time. We've got time. That army moves so slow that we can, yes, wait for this army to get here. Can't take too much time. Can't give that army... Oh, look, look, look how slow they are. Oh! Has, is, is he fighting someone? It appears so. Well, good sir, I'm going to write your name down. I don't know if you were caught by surprise, which you're a fool, or you're taking one for the Empire, um, but I'm going to write your name down. Perhaps I shall reward you. Okay, so he is, the Praetorian Guard is totally taken care of, and uh, I, I believe it's time. I believe it's time, Lord Cotton. Welcome, sir, to the Siege of Rome. It's midnight, and we shall besiege the town again. So, apparently this is a two-day siege. 
That's okay. I still want you guys to mark down May. What was it? <laughs> May 28th? Was it? 70 AD. In the comment section below. The day Emperor Rufus sieged Rome. Oh, come on. I I'll take these 500 men. Uh, it looks like we're not going to get them. But we're going to get three catapults. I like it. All right, men. Let's let's do this once more. I'm going to go ahead and send the infantry in right away. And uh, get, get the archers ready. Torian Guard, I, I don't know if you're healthy enough. And, and of course, we're going to have the engineers holding back. See if we can use this fire javelins better this, this round. Do, do I have any fire javelins? Seven of them. Okay. Well... We'll, we'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it work. Let's see. Are, are we moving through? Decently? Alright, alright. You, you men are getting in my way. I, I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Ooh, my goodness. My goodness. It's good to have those fire javelins close. Alright, I probably should tell them to um, hold fire. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! I see I see you still got javelins. Let's not use them up just yet. I still may have need of you, man. Did I just get him? Oh my goodness. Emperor Rufus with a crack shot. Did you see that? I didn't even see that. That was incredible. Uh, I'm going to send my fire javelins out. Then charge up. And uh, I'm also going to tell you men to fire it well. Is it making any difference? Oh, I see you, sir. Oh, I missed it, though. Missed it that time, too. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we've killed 99 of them. So, so we're approaching 300 kills. This was a much better siege for... Well, slightly better. We've taken so many wounds. So many wounds, indeed. So it looks like we're mainly dealing with Gestats, not the highest level of troops, but um, what, 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 is, what is causing the problems up here? They're just stacked up. We, we can't seem to get through, and we certainly can't get them from below the walls. Uh, it, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's, it's, who, who is this? That's not the Emperor himself, I'm sure. So we've got, you know, a long siege ahead of us, guys. We knew this going in. Roman against Roman are tough battles. We are ready to do one more assault. And here's what I'm going to do. We're going to have this one more assault. And then I'm going to call a meeting with the castle commander. We're going to have a little bit of a parlay. And see if we can convince them that th these last few Romans don't have to die. We're all trying to do the same thing. Alright, let's bring in as many onagers as we can. Come on, men. Come on, men! This is the one! Show them that this has to be the end of the siege! Bloody them so badly that they don't want to fight anymore. Make sure my engineers are set up. I'm going to send my cavalry back. We're going to have all men on deck in, the, in this battle right here. All men? Oh, Oh, Roman engineers, amazing job. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I wanted to show them. And that it's hopeless. It's hopeless indeed. Okay, how much cavalry do I have? All right, we, we can get the cavalry set up. We're going to just... Uh, unrelentless assault of men. Assault of fire arrows. Assault of fireballs from our onagers. We will show them that this needs to be the end of the siege. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Looking good. I like it. How, how many fire javelins am I bringing to this battle? One. Okay. 
inconsequential. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I love to see those flag bearers up there at the top. Brave men indeed. Each representing their own lord. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. Let's see one, two, three, four. Four different lords, I believe, represented. Wonderful. All right, all right, man. Are you ready? Praetorian Guard, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to give you this chance. All right, but let's send up the cavalry. Send up the cavalry. Let's weaken it up a little bit. Let's go right behind the infantry. Oh, that's going to be glorious. Oh, we're already doing some major damage to them. Let's turn around. I think we're getting into their, their weaker forces. I, I believe we can do it. I believe this may be the final assault. Genuine Justinus. Are you ready for this, sir? Jeremiah Salvius. Are you ready, dear sir? And Claudius Jabras, my last subscriber night. Are you ready, sir, for this siege? Oh, my goodness. All right, we're, we're going to go up together, man. We're going to go up together. I know the Emperor is, is quite wounded. He has not had enough time to rest up. But we're going to make this happen. All right, man. Come on. Fire archers, do, do I need to bring you closer? You seem very ineffective. I don't think close is the answer, though, frankly. Further away, perhaps? Yes. I'm going to bring you men back. Right in front of the onagers. Maybe you get a better angle. Because I feel you're too close to the walls at this point. And you, and you can't really see. Ah, yeah. You see, there's a little bit better angle from here. From here. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Praetorian guard. Follow the emperor. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, my goodness. It was excited. I, I just hope I um, don't take an arrow to the face right away. I certainly don't need another scar. Okay. Alright. Ready? 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. So my Praetorian guard up in front of me. Go. Protect the Emperor. Ahead. There, Justinus. I want to make sure you get in there, sir, first. Right, here we go, man. Here we go. Protect it from the front. Protect it from the back. Excellent. January Justinus is like shielded up more than ever himself. Look at that. He's got a shield on his back. Holding a shield in front. Amazing. Ooh. I wonder. Missed. Got him. That's right. You, you get away. You get away from those walls. Oh, it's looking pretty good. 52. All right, here we go, man. Here it is. Here it is. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to get bloodied? I got to take us in my TCB. To my golden chalice mug really quickly. This is this is not going to go well. I am, I'm fairly certain it's not. I've already seen they're getting reinforced. I'm, I'm going to unload my javelins. Certainly. Is gonna, can I at least take one bastard out? Come here. Have a good angle on them. Oh, and there goes the course. It was a matter of time. Who, who took out the angle? Um, yeah. Auxiliary troop. Not good. All right. We're, we're, we're going to let this, this last group go through. We killed 200 of them. Man, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're not taking many kills, mainly wounds. That's good. I don't want a lot of my men to die. I'd say once we another 20 will back out and I'm I'm fairly certain we can convince them to give up Rome I'm not sure how many men are left in the garrison but I'm estimating perhaps it's around 50 because they weren't getting reinforcements so the Emperor is gracious the Emperor is merciful he will allow these poor 50 Romans to go free if their commander is not an idiot. So let's call for a meeting. Oh, this is not going to be good. 
Sir, I hope our relationship doesn't affect your judgment. Do you give your word of honor that we'll be treated well? Sir, I'm Emperor, Emperor Rufus. I, of course, give my word that you will be treated well. Have you not heard? All the fortresses on the coast of, of Italy, I have given the same courtesy. So, um, you'll be ransomed, and your soldiers will live. I give my word. Then under those terms, you offer your surrender. That is glorious indeed. That is glorious indeed. How many countless Roman lives have we saved in the process? All right, so I see yeah, you all go go free. Go free, men. You are free to go. I'm definitely going to grab all of these men, though, because we're going to need them to refill the garrisons of Rome to make sure we protect it. We'll let the slaves go free. Ooh, and we got a little bit of upgrading to do while we're here. Just a little bit. We are all terribly wounded, though, unfortunately. And uh, I tell you what, Emperor would definitely take all that food. It's Rome. I think not. I generously pay you. Do not touch the inhabitants. Um, hmm. And I'll defer appointment, but I'm definitely going to take Rome. I just want to get a free garrison. Rome has fallen to your troops, and now you have full control of the town. You may station your troops here. Very good. Can you believe it, guys? Can you believe it? We have Rome. Now, here's the problem. Let's check out the location of that Praetorian Guard. Have they even made it anywhere close to Rome? Where are they now? Oh, wait a minute. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I tell you what. Um, these huge independent armies um, seem to, to never catch you. And that's a good thing, because if they did, you're done for Guys, we have Rome. We have Rome with 36 pitiful, pitiful men. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? But, but, but you, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even going to enter Rome yet. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I shall enter Rome in glorious fashion. Uh, but we're not going to do it just yet. Uh, but let's just check out the situation. Okay. All right. There are definitely men um, who want Rome desperately. But, but I tell you what. I'm going to put a few select men in Rome ahead of me. To prepare for the emperor's arrival, I have a new task for you, sir. I need you to go to Rome. That's right, I said it, Rome. My brother-in-law, please prepare it for the emperor. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and send a few more men doing the same thing, making sure Rome is well protected. And uh, once I'm done, I'll cut right back. See you guys in a second. Look at all those Romans heading to the poll to cast their vote. You know why? Because we've got a great election today for the senator to represent the Black Sea. We've got two longtime subscribers. First, we've got Emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, our Tom Cho, and our first candidate, Legion 13. People of Nova Roma, I, Artifact Scipio Menelaus, am running for the prestigious title of Senator of the Black Sea Territories. Now, I come from noble heritage, from heroes such as Scipio Africantus, and I will do them well by the gods Castor and Pollux, I swear. And now when I become senator, uh, cities along the Black Sea territories, uh, like Olivia, will be under great prosperity again, and I will protect and uphold the rights of Roman and Bosporan citizens alike. I also will defend the area from barbaric tribes, Sarmatians, and the hated Dacians. Remember, Romans, that we are sons of Mars, and that I also will extend the military in honor of it. Now, I have done many things in my lifetime. I have fought with Emperor Rufus as a cataphract. I have met and dealt with Emperor Nero, whom I denounce for his evil deeds upon us Romans. And I swear to you, people of Nova Roma, that you shall be safe from all men who oppose you. I swear unwaving loyalty to my Emperor Rufus. Rome was ruled by the people. I shall represent the people of the Black Sea as well as I can in the Senate. Now, I promise no corruption, 
no persecution, no abandonment. I will punish severely those who oppose Nova Roma. I promise to rule faithfully, uphold the ways of old. I promise to you, yes you, that I will lead us to victory. Thank you so much, Legion 13, a wonderful speech. Now don't forget, if you want to vote for Legion 13, cast your vote for Artifact Scipio Menelaus. Now, for our next candidate, Emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, or Tom Cho. Hear ye, hear ye, lend me your ears. I, Constantine Byzantius Caesar, would be honored to represent the great region of the Black Sea as your senator. I am a son of the great consul Augustus, Augustine Byzantius Caesar, of the old Roman Empire, and by Jupiter, I will make the Black Sea territories as prosperous and beautiful as ever. I swear by Athena that I will protect the regions of the Black Sea forever throughout my lifetime, while extending the Black Sea defenses, recruitment, and military training with an economy that is sustainable for Nova Romans. In my lifetime, I have served in our Emperor's army as General of the 13th Legion. I have met and dealt with the Emperors of both North and the South Roman parties, whom my father used to know and deal with. And as I was there, I feel that these false emperors are useless and weak, unleashing evil acts upon us, the real Romans of the Empire. I swear upon you, citizens, that the people of Nova Roma shall be safe from any opposing enemies whom dare defy the Empire. I shall represent the people of the Black Sea justly, with no acts of tyranny, corruption, abandonment, or persecution of race and religion. I will be as equal and fair as Jupiter, Athena, and Neptune. I will punish severely those who oppose our citizens and promise to rule faithfully upholding law, order, education, and the old ways of Romans and Greeks. I promise to you that I will lead us to loyalty, honor, faith, order, and victory. So vote for me as the Senator of the Black Sea Region. Excellent work, excellent work indeed. Now, if you want to vote for Emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, Tom Cho, make sure you cast your vote for Constantine Byzantius Caesar in the straw poll below down in the description box. Just click that link, go ahead and vote for the candidate that you want to be the senator to represent the Black Sea. Remember, it's so important because we've got another session coming up right now. Are we going to continue attacking the South Roman party? Or are we going to end the war right here and fortify Rome? We've got important decisions, and it's all about you subscribers voting for the right senator. What an amazing day of sieging. I can't believe Emperor Rufus has finally conquered the walls of Rome. And you know, now that we have the largest empire and we have the city of Rome, we can truly claim ourselves as the Roman Empire, and everyone else is just rebels at this point. Also, guys, don't forget to vote for the next senator, uh, to represent Nova Roma, to represent the territory of the Black Sea. Remember, it's so important because these senators get special access to akrealm.engine.com where in the Senate chambers there, they direct the course of the wars and this series. So I need to know, senators, what do you want to do? Do we want to continue this war against the South Party or do we want to end it now and concentrate on fortifying Rome? I can't wait to hear what my Senators and Praetorian Guard have to say on akrealm.engine.com. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. It's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. If Rufus is angry at you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's so important. The Emperor commands it. Uh, guys, again, I want to thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time on Imperial Rome Season 2.